A screening mammogram is ordered on a woman who has no breast complaints. It's just a screening to look for signs of cancer and um, the patient comes in, the technologist does the study, the technologist will check the images for quality only and then let the patient go. And then the study is read by the radiologist later that day or the next day and the results are sent to the, to the doctor or possibly the patient may be called back for additional views. Um, a diagnostic mammogram is ordered on a patient that's having symptoms, has a lump, pain, discharge, or on a patient that has high risk for breast cancer. Maybe they've had breast cancer themselves or they have a personal history. Um, that mammogram is performed the same way. The technologist performs the pictures th uh, as they do for the screening. The only difference is before the patient leaves, the mammogram is checked by the radiologist. Then if anything needs to be done, additional views mammographically or an ultrasound, that's done while the patient's still in the department. And usually they get some preliminary results before they leave as well. Because these patients usually will require additional workups, so they try to get that done while they're there. Both screening and diagnostics, like I said, are done the same way and they're gonna image the whole breast and we're gonna look at every, you know, everything. The patient with the diagnostic mammogram may specifically have one area that they're feeling a lump. Well, we're going to pay closer attention to that. We may That's where we may go on to the ultrasound. If we didn't see anything on the mammogram, we may do the ultrasound to see if we can see a cyst. So yes, when they're diagnostic, we will likely focus in on something, but we're going to look at the, her whole breast as well.